the Iowa State Fair, a celebration of an entire state, showcasing the talents of both young and old in all forms of human endeavor. You know, the Iowa State Fair is so massive, it's hard to do everything or see everything in one day. In fact, it's almost impossible. So what I've done is try to break down the 10 best things you can see and do at the Iowa State Fair. If you ever visit the state fairgrounds here in Des Moines. So without any further ado, and I don't see any ados, let's get going with the first of five of the top 10 things you should see and do at the Iowa State Fair. Located in the State Fair's Agriculture Building, the Butter Cow has been sculpted every year since 1911. Fairgoers stand in long lines to view a State Fair tradition. Other butter sculptures are on display, with each year featuring a certain theme. Preserved in cholesterol this year are football greats Kurt Warner and Jack Trice and Iowa women's basketball star Caitlin Clark. Months of hard work by the state's young people is visible at the State Fair's livestock barns. Now, the horse barns offer an up-close look of horses both big and small. Fair's cattle barns are always a busy place with people both young and old working to take care of the livestock. There's also plenty of action going on in the swine barn, and the occupants of the sheep barn are ready to say hello to you as they prepare for competition though some of the competitors refuse to appear on camera. Each year, young people from all over Iowa gather here at the Ann and Bill Riley stage for the ultimate talent competition, the Bill Riley Talent Show, an event that's been going on here at the fair for decades. From the Sprouts to the seniors, all sorts of talented kids come to the state fair each year to show off their talents. Some do it by singing, others do it through dancing, some perform in solo, others through pairs. No matter what sort of entertainment you'll find, it's always a good time to see some great kids at the State Fair. Another of the State Fair's iconic attractions, Ye Old Mill, offers fairgoers a fun way to cool off. It may seem scary at first, but Ye Old Mill is actually a floating State Fair history lesson, saluting some of the fair's familiar attractions. Hope you like the first five on my list of the top 10 things you should see and do at the Iowa State Fair. We've got a second video coming up for you to cover the second five. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video channel. And for the latest news, log on to KMALand.com. Until next time, Mike Peterson, so long, man.